Hey guys, you here, right? Yeah, G, you know, welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about the Pro Gen or Pro Gen T20 supercar that's coming out Wednesday, 8th of July. By the time this video goes up, I'll be at Egypt. I swear, right now, I'm commentating this in the UK, London, and I am dripping. I'm sitting in the £2.50 Primark vest, yeah? Don't ask me why. It's just all preparation. You know them holiday clothes you go buy from Primark, right? Because he's going to throw away after that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Actually, you know I'm going to keep it because that's me. I like storing shit don't need. But look, right? No, you can't disrespect Primark. Well, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, now that, now that that's cleared out of the way, right? Let me get a breather because this supercar, it's another supercar already. That's crazy. Like, think about it. You know, we, we had to wait a whole year since, since you know, Zentorno released the High Life last year, April. And we we're crying for a supercar throughout the entire time. We got the Pegasio Saris, the quickest supercar in the game right now. Like, all right, sweet. But then, when you, up, it all comes down to driving style and personal preference. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the driving style of the Osiris. I was like, okay, slightly demotivated because of that, because I'm just getting under still all the time. It's like, it's getting a bit stale, man. But then, yo, these man's already announced the Trojan T20 out of nowhere. Like, not Trojan, the Pro <laughs> Progen, okay, all right. And uh, yeah, it's, it looks like another super. It's certainly, I'm quite confident it seems to be a super there. Everyone's saying it's confirmed already. So I'm like, okay, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Second supercar within the span of a month, just after the second one got released. And we already got the fastest one um, from this first part of the DLC. And it's all wheel drive as well. And it's a Pegasi manufacturer. The Progen T20 is a new manufacturer. I'm not sure what is going to be categorized within the other groups of the supercars. But all I know is quite is individual for itself and the description briefly states that it is in fact you know blazingly fast and built from the ground up for quick getaways so yeah, that's that i mean they could, they could have said that for any supercar do you know what i'm saying but the way it seems it looks like a mclaren p1 a lot of that resembles that car and i did a little bit of research on that car and it's quite light and nimble does that mean this car is going to be like the turismo although i made my prediction before they released the pegasi osiris and when they released the car, it was completely opposite to what I said. I said it was going to be real wheel drive. I said it's going to be light and nimble. When they released it, the car is heavy and stiff as fuck around corners, on the steers all the time. And it's all wheel drive. Like, okay. Well, that was totally unexpected because the Pagani Hayura, when I researched it, it was real wheel drive. I'm like, all right, I'm quite confident that GTA 5 should be the case as well with the Pegasio Service. But we all know that the cars in this game is a mixture between a variety of different cars in real life. A little bit of Ferrari, a little bit of this and that. So, of course, the McLaren P1 with the Progen or Progen T20 will not exactly be fully, you know, a P1 McLaren. But I am confident, and I, I guarantee you that if I if I fail this prediction, then you might need to let me know on 8th of July because I won't be here to test the car. You guys will have a head start of four days against me, so you guys gotta let me know in the comments below for this video how the car feels. Is it heavy around corners? Is it responsive? More responsive than the Osiris? How's the turning? How's the speed carry? You guys are going to give me the car v car information down below in this video so I can check it when I get Wi-Fi in a hotel to actually see how this car is. So be sure you guys are on that because I feel like it's going to be a real-wheel drive and it's going to be extremely light and good around corners just like the Turismo. But I feel like the top speed is not going to be on par with the quickest supercars. But I certainly think I feel like it will be a top five supercars or the quickest supercars. But we're definitely top five. And uh, yeah, that's that's the important. I, I just hope the freedom is there for turning and the car isn't stiff. That's all that matters for me right now. So anyway, I can't wait for the third supercar already. Uh, you know, the one they released from DLC. So, yeah, man. Part two, it got some games. I tell you what, it's going to be expensive as fuck. You know, they they just, they are milking the money out of us. They want people to buy shark cars. They are going all out. But, hey, the game is great. It's nice to get free DLC content. But then again, it's win-win for both sides. Otherwise, this shit doesn't, wouldn't work at the end of the day if it's just free all the time. And they won't be getting anything out of it. So, yeah, I guess it makes sense for expensive cars. But then again, it's not for the car. It's not the car to blame. It's more for the company's uh, structure than anything else with the way it works with the pricings but yeah man thanks for watching that's my prediction let me know in the comments below what you guys think this car is going to be like how quick do you guys think it's going to be around a track it's going to be top five or top seven would you guys say you know is it going to be a light nimble car like the turismo is going to be extremely heavy all-wheel drive like the pegasi osiris and stiff around corners you let me know keep me updated guys i'll, I'll be reading the comments like always shaggy is so not gonna peace yeah Hey guys, you here, right here, yeah, you know, welcome back to another GTA 5 Top 5 episode. Today we've got Top 5 Funny Moments, where it's all random, not just to do with racing, but anywhere, but...